Hello and welcome to this session. I am Raghav from automationstepbystep.com and in this session I am going to go very basic step by step and we are going to learn what is a proxy and how do we use proxy in Selenium or how do we connect two websites using proxy in Selenium. This is going to be very easy and very interesting so let's get started and proxy in very simple words is a intermediary server that sits between you and the actual server from where your response is coming. In very very easy way you can think of it as in a client server concept or in a client server architecture you are a client or your system is a client and server is the actual server from where your response is getting served and between this client and the server there sits an intermediary server which is called as a proxy. Now why do we need it or why proxy is used? In very very simple words whenever you have to uh, intercept the network traffic or you have to access some site which is restricted or if you want to mock some request you can use a proxy so it can be to capture network traffic or to mock backend calls it can also be used for testing and then sometimes to access any application or website which is under some corporate restrictions or policies to bypass that sometimes people use a proxy server so now how do we actually use proxy in Selenium? So let us see a demo and before that I will go to my project. I will open my IDE and this is the Selenium project we created and here I am going to my SRC test Java folder and I will create a new class and I will call this as proxy demo. You can name it anything and here this is created and I will also create a main method. I will say main control space bar to auto complete auto suggestion and I have got this main method. I will press control plus on my keyboard to increase the font. I hope this is very clear now. So now we are going to uh, create or set up proxy in Selenium and even before I do that uh, you can do one optional step just in case you want to have some kind of a monitor to uh, capture your traffic or check your proxy requests you can use something like uh, so if I go to my browser so you can use some tools there is something called as Charles proxy this is a tool you can download and it is used for monitoring and debugging pro proxy so you can see this is for HTTP monitor and you can check all your traffic so you can just go here download a free trial and download for your Windows Mac or Linux system and then you can set it up uh, in the same way as any software in my case let me very quickly show you now this is optional uh, in case you are already having your own proxy and applications and websites you may not need this this is just for checking our network while I connect to the proxy so once we have this tool ready so you can see this is ready here I can uh, click on this to start recording the network traffic I can use this to close all the or to clear all the logs and data from here and you can also go to help and SSL proxying and first install Charles root certificate and just check if you see this if you go to certification path if you see certificate is okay or if you go to details and see here uh, this thing it is fine otherwise you can just go here and say install certificate current user next and place all certificate in the following store browse select this trusted root certification and say ok and next and then say finish and then you can install the certificate and then you should be able to see this import was successful and then you should be able to see this the certificate is okay after this you should be able to use this properly and you can also see as we were doing this all these uh, traffic is getting recorded let me clear everything else and I will stop the recording for now and let us go and do our scripting in Selenium first so here we have a proxy class in Selenium and you can create an object of the proxy class and then you can set all the proxy settings so I will say here proxy and give any name I'll just use proxy equals new 
proxy now make sure it should be coming from selenium library so if you hover over it you should be getting an option to get it from org.openqa.selenium so make sure that this is coming from our selenium library and after this i can use this proxy object and i can set the http proxy ssl proxy auto detect all these things so you can see all these options are here i will set auto detect to false for now and i will say set http proxy and i can give the here i can give the ip and the port that you want to use for your proxy so for your proxy server you will be having a ip and a port that you can also get from your it or networks team or whatever application you are using you must be knowing it and you can use the ip so in my case i am just using localhost and the port i'm using is 8080 now sometimes your proxy server also requires authentication in that case you can uh, either whitelist that particular ip and port uh, or you can also add the authentication along with proxy here so here i will also say set ssl proxy and i will use the same here this is the proxy server ip and port that you will be using i'm doing this for a demo and then uh, after this we will be using the options class in selenium which is a replacement over desired capabilities so if you are using selenium 4 you should not be using desired capabilities that will not work you will use the options class and for every browser we have options for example for chrome we have chrome options so i'm going to use chrome browser so i will say chrome options and let me call this as options equals new and if i press control spacebar i'm getting this i should be getting this auto suggestion let me see if this is fine yeah it should be coming from org open qs linear chrome and now i should be getting this chrome options here and this is all fine so after this i can set the capabilities in options so i will use this options objects and i will say set capability and i am going to set a capability for proxy and i am going to pass this proxy object so it will be passed with all the settings we have done so now i have set the capability for proxy and now i will have to start my chrome browser so if you are using a chrome driver exe you can first provide the path and then uh, start the chrome browser in my case i have already used the web driver manager so i can just copy that two lines from here web driver manager which will uh, download and set up the chrome driver and then i just have to say web driver driver equals new chrome driver so this we have done in the first session how to get web driver managers now very important thing here is i should be passing this chrome options object that i have created options here and it should be passed in the chrome driver like this so now all these options capabilities will be taken by the chrome driver and now i can do my testing i can go to any website i will go to let us say i will say driver.get and i will go to let us say google.com and then i will say driver dot quit so that's it now i can run this and before running let me also start my charles monitor so i will click here so it will start capturing the traffic and now i will do a right click say run as java application and let us see so it starts the chrome browser and uh, it is not able to go to the website i think this is because of the proxy settings so let me check i will be uh, so i think we are using this ssl i will comment out the http proxy and also on my charles monitor i will go to proxy and i will go to proxy settings and here i will say this should be i will say 8080 i can also do this enable transparent http proxying and say okay and now i will save this 
and run this again and let us check so it opens the chrome browser and yes you can see it is getting all the traffic here it was very fast so let me add some delay here i will thread i will say thread dot sleep now this is not recommended i am adding this just to show this demo so that you can see this on the screen i am adding a delay of three seconds before closing the browser and for this i also have this throws exception so if i just remove this you will see it will ask to either surround it with a try catch or add a throws declaration i will add this throws declaration here and save and let me now clear my charles logs here and i will run this again and check so you can see it is going and going to google.com and here we are getting all the details here so you can see all this is coming here and this is how you can use proxy or you can set proxy with selenium i hope this was very useful for you i will see you in the next session thank you for watching and never stop learning